Yo, 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 what's up? It's YL with Crypto 10X. In this video, we're going to check out Binance. I'm going to do a quick review on it. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So if you haven't used Binance or any exchange, uh, then keep watching because it's very helpful just to learn, you know, how to buy, how to sell, how to sign up for an exchange. So first of all, we're using Binance. It's one of the more popular exchanges and has a good amount of volume. So if you want to sign up for Binance and you haven't yet, check out below and you can sign up and just click the link. So let's jump right in. You signed up. Let's go to your account because it's important and I always tell people that you want to secure your accounts. You want to uh, put the SMS authentication. I don't have it because I travel so much and I'm changing my numbers that you know, I can't always keep changing my SIM cards to get the SMS when I got to do a quick trade, you know, or if things are dropping quickly or, you know, blowing up, I got to just get in there quickly. So I turn that off, but I really recommend that uh, Google authentication is 100% recommended all the time. No excuses, no slacking. Just turn your Google authentication on. I don't even know why you wouldn't have that on. API, I think with Binance API hack has happened twice. Um, so if you're not feeling it, don't do an API if you're not sure what that is. It can connect uh, basically with that API keys. You can um, monitor and trade on your phone or other uh, devices without actually being logged in. So let's jump right into it. Let's go to funds. You guys could check out what I have. 12 bucks in this in this account, all in BNB coin. So it's Binance's coin. Um, kind of like other exchanges have their coins, they have incentives for holding this, like uh, cheaper fees or maybe not paying trading fees at all. So we're gonna make some money, man, with $12. So basically, let's not hide balances. If you wanna send money to your Binance account, you can send it using most of the currencies that they uh, have on the website. So if you have Bitcoin, you'll just search Bitcoin. There's like six of these fake Bitcoins. Make sure you send it to the real one. So just Bitcoin and deposit. And doing that, you'll see your wallet. So you go right here and you copy and paste it. So you can see that I've deposited and withdrawn in the past right here. Um, I don't have much in this account, so you hackers, try me. Um, so basically that's it. And you could do Bitcoin and you could do any other coin. So if you want to send some Ethereum and fund your account, there you go. Pretty easy. Um, I have some Ethereum. Didn't show that in my funds. Oh, small balances. Nice. Perfect. Found a dollar worth of Ethereum. Okay, so basically that's how you fund your account. If you had like maybe a shit coin, let me think of a shit coin on the top of my head. Let me just look for one. IOTA. That is a shit coin. Okay, I actually have a little bit too. Network congestion, it's a shit coin, so you can't actually send it. That's pretty funny. So you couldn't send using IOTA, but any other coin, you you can send it. So that's how you um, would fund your account. So let's say you got the whopping $12 on your account. Let's hit the exchange now. You go to exchange here. Um, Binance is a little bit more messier than, let's say, Bitrex or Poloniex. I think they're more user-friendly. Uh, the interface is more user-friendly. So you can look at this. We're looking at Bitcoin right now. Um, let's go to pair BNB coin because we got some BNB and it's up 10%. Why not? Let's just unload that shit right now. Okay, so we have, where's my BNB? Okay, sell BNB right here. We want to sell it at this price. You can see the last price here, 24 change, the high, the low, and the volume. So the volumes, and this is for 24 hours, obviously. So 3,163 Bitcoin, pretty good for the day. Let's say 100% of our BNB we want to sell, and that's how much we'll get. So let's sell that. Bam. And it's done it automatically. So now I have the Bitcoin. So 
let's just say that this is the Bitcoin you deposited to your account. So you have $10, we're gonna start trading. So this is where you'll find the pairs. You can look at price, you can change it in volume or however you wanna look at it in uh, percentage as well, gains or losses. So let's just look at some of the coins we want to potentially buy. Hmm, GNT, not too bad. ICX isn't bad. Navcoin, well, whatever. Tron, I want, I want some Tron actually because it's very cheap and they've moved to their own blockchain and I think Tron's a good buy. So what I'm gonna do is Tron is at 448 right now. This is the graph. You can change um, the candles to any time frame you want, just like trading for you. You can change it uh, to minutes, daily, weekly. You can even have the trading view one pop out as well, which is cleaner in my opinion. And then you could play around with it. You can look at your trade history here, and then this is where you buy and sell. So we want to buy at the price right now, which is 448 Satoshis. And let's use all the money we have. That's about $10. It'll get us 288 Tron. And maybe that Tron will hit a dollar. So that can make me $288. So I'm down with that. Let's buy some Tron. Perfect. My order's open because the price maybe isn't there yet. And that will get filled. You can also place orders, so I'll cancel that. You can also place orders, so let's say that this is at 448 sats, and you believe that it's gonna go down to 400 sats. So we'll put an order, and you don't have to wait at your computer for this to happen. As soon as it hits 400 sats, your order will automatically uh, trigger and it'll buy it at 400. So you can actually like snipe these buy orders and get cheaper prices. So I don't recommend buying um, what's it called market which is just buying the price i recommend always putting in an order always try to bargain and get a good price for yourself so we're going to just market buy i know i said not to do that but just just for the video's purpose so there we have it we bought some tron and we're balling now 288 tron so to check out your funds, you go back to balances. And let's check it out, Tron. There we have it, 288. And let's say we wanted to withdraw that, so withdraw. And you'd put your Tron address, you'd put the, the amount you want to send, and then you'd send it out. So just a quick basic um, tutorial on Binance, how to use Binance, how to trade, how to buy, how to sell and you know how to uh, send money and take the money out most importantly. So if you have any questions, if you want me to go into anything more specifically, just post them in the comments, like, subscribe, uh, join our Discord because we have a ton of trading opportunities. We're making people money and that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching.